Hey, what's going on, guys? It's Coding Tuts, and welcome to a brand new tutorial in which I'll be showing you how to create this pretty simple but also uh, pretty cool looking navigation menu. And it's actually really easy to uh, create, as I said. But um, I'm gonna basically show you the code. So I'm gonna open up my text editor and I'm gonna use oh, not this um, brackets. I'm gonna open up brackets. I'm gonna close this off and I'm gonna open the index and the CSS. And so, oh, hold on. Uh, so this is basically the code, and you can pause and copy it basically. But I'm gonna explain it. So actually, I'm gonna delete everything. All right, and I'm gonna open up uh, again so you can compare it. So I'm gonna start all over. So we're gonna define the, the type of document. So it's HTML. We're gonna start our uh, my bad our HTML code. We're gonna create our head in which we're gonna create our title. So the title is and he have brackets always um, finishes like ends the code for you. So the title is navigation menu tutorial tutorial and we also have to link the CSS so link rel equals style man what is up with my typing type equals text slash CSS and the href is main.css in my case and I'm gonna close it all just like this alright so now I have to create our body and alright perfect so now when we refresh we have a navigation menu tutorial so now we're gonna create um actually we're gonna uh, create this background color just for the sake of it so I'm gonna create body and uh, background color light gray actually it's not a semicolon here it's a two dots a column and there we go so now I have to create our uh, main uh, navigation um, div. So we're going to create a div and I'm going to give this an ID of um, nav. And alright, so now let me refresh. So now I'm going to go to CSS and I'm going to um, put hashtag uh, nav curly brackets and I'm going to give this a position of absolute so we can align it easier. I'm gonna give it um, a width of 100% so it means that it's gonna be the 100% um, of your screen so if your screen is like 800 pixels if like it's really small the width is gonna be 800 pixels and the height is gonna be 70 pixels oh yeah and uh, now I have to create a background color and it's gonna be um, hex so 1 2 3 4 5 1 uh, one more zero. Now this is black, but I never do zero 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 like six nine zeros. I always do zero zero one because um, your eyes don't hurt um, when it's like pure zero zero zero. Your eyes start to hurt after you watch it a while. Now you can see how it's um like it, um it's in a little bit. So we have to go to body and remove the margin. So margin zero, and now it's perfect. So yeah, now we're gonna create our logo. Uh, actually, as you can see that this here is actually text. It's a link. Actually, you can see. Oh no. Oh, I messed this up. Nah, that's okay. Um, because I pressed it and it all disappeared. But anyway, I know how to do it. So we're gonna create um uh an href here. I'm gonna give it um. Uh, in nature of, of index.html which is my home page and I'm gonna close this off and I'm actually gonna give this um, ID of logo so now you can actually instead of creating a text or a link you can also create um, insert an image but I'm gonna go ahead with um, the link so now I'm gonna create uh, I'm gonna write nav menu uh, nav menu I'm gonna refresh so now we're gonna go to CSS and I'm gonna write in ID logo and um, we're gonna do to that uh, link 
So now we're going to give this a font family of cursive, a color color of white, font, oh wait, um, yeah, font size 50 pixels, and a font weight of bold. And we're going to remove this underline, so text, decoration, none. Not neon, oh man, none. And let's refresh, perfect. So now it's still purple because it's visited. So we have to do logo visited. And uh, we're gonna do a color of white. And decoration, decoration of none. And just in case, the text, the text decoration. So now I'm gonna give this a margin left of 10 pixels because hold on a second because it's ev I want it to be evenly in at the left at the right I mean at the left at the top and the bottom all right so now let's create another div and I'm gonna create a div and I'm gonna give it an ID of nav menu or something yeah nav menu and now inside I'm gonna actually first let's style the the div so nav menu Oh man. Um come on. Nav menu. Like my my voice and my hands also always get um so shaky and my typing gets all wrong and my speeching and I mean my talking, see what I mean? Uh when I started to record. I have no idea why it's like that, but you know what? It's kind of awkward like talking to your computer. It's really awkward. But anyway, so nav menu, and I'm gonna give this a position of absolute for easier alignment. A width of 800 pixels, height of 50 pixels, and I'm gonna give it a background uh, color of yellow, actually green. And I'm not gonna leave it like uh, green, but I'm just I just want to see where it's aligned. So now, now I want to align it um, in the center horizontal. I mean vertically of the div. So top 50% margin left. Uh, margin top minus 25 pixels. And now I want to align it in the center uh, horizontally. So left 50% margin left um, minus 400 pixels. There we go. Perfect. So now it's aligned in the exact in the absolute center. So now uh, I'm gonna create a list, and uh, I'm gonna create not an ordered list, which is um, one, two, three, four. I'm gonna create an unordered one. So, ul. Oh. Wow. Um. I have no idea what just happened there. Uh. All right. So now let me refresh. And now I'm gonna create the list. So li. What? Uh, I have no idea what's happening there. And I'm gonna create an href of index.html, HTML, and I'm gonna write home. Another list. Oh my God! Okay, I have no idea what is happening there. Uh, and I'm gonna give, I'm gonna give the link uh, an href of hashtag or pound sign. Close it, and I'm gonna write. Oh. <laughs> Well, all right. Shop. I'm gonna create another list. Give it an href of pound sign again. Give it um, a text of about us. And a last link. I'm gonna insert a link inside pound sign and contact us. So now save it and refresh. There we go. So now it's a list. But how do I align it to be in one row and to remove these black dots, circles? So basically we're going to go to nav menu ul um, li and I'm going to, I'm going to, come on, where did the li go? And I'm going to give it a display of inline. So let me refresh, and it automatically removes the dots. So now we have to style the link. So nav menu ul li a link. 
So color white, font family sans serif, um, font weight bold, and text decoration decoration none. And I also want to change the size, so font size 19 pixels. Here we go. So I'm gonna give it a actually hold on. Margin left of 10 pixels and margin right of 10 pixels. And now I'm gonna create uh, a visited one so we can change this from purple to white. So LIA visited, visited. And I'm gonna give it a color of white. And just in case, uh, text decoration, yeah, decoration of none. And now I'm gonna create a hover. Actually, I'm gonna show you what the result is right now. So it's pretty good, as you can see. Uh, this is a link. Uh, when you press this, we go to the index, and it's pretty cool. So I'm gonna give it a hover effect. So nav menu ul lia hover, and uh, watch this. So it's gonna be really really cool like you know when you under uh, when you hover on something it underlines well I'm gonna create a, not a text decoration of underline but a border bottom which is gonna be like thicker and and better trust me so border bottom two pixels solid white so now watch this there we go oh yeah that's pretty cool in my opinion so now I'm also gonna give it an active so an active is when you press on it and hold like it does something so nav menu menu ulia active and i'm gonna give it a color of dark dark gray and a border bottom of two pixels solid dark gray so it's gonna change the color of the border so watch this it, ch it changes into dark. It's really cool. See it? And when I press on it, yeah. So now let's align this in the center of this green div. So basically we're gonna go to nav menu and you're just gonna write text align center. So it's basically gonna align the center, uh, the text that is in this div in the center. So perfect. Alright, uh, I guess we can get rid of the green color. So background color. Oh man. Um, <laughs> Where did I go? Okay, so background color green, refresh, and voila. So you can leave it like this, which is pretty good in my opinion. I like it. But you, got, you can also do it how I showed you in the beginning with these borders on the side. So I'm going to show you how to do that. Um, you're going to remove the margins, and you're going to, instead, you're going to give it a padding left of 10 pixels and a padding right of Adding right of 10 pixels. All right, and now you're also gonna give it a border uh, right of two, uh, one pixel, one pixel solid white. So now when I refresh, basically you've created um, your border on the right. Now I don't do it on the left. I mean you can also do it on the left, but you can see what happens. So border left, one pixel solid left, uh, solid white. Um, uh, on these places, two borders appear. So how to fix this? Like, let's say I want one on the left, but only for this home because I want to remove these double borders. So we're gonna uh, remove this, save it, refresh it, and I'm gonna go to the this here and actually I'm gonna create a style only for this one so border left one pixel solid white now when I save it it's perfectly aligned so it's as you can see it's pretty easy to create a navigation menu and uh, let me put my I'm about to charge just in case uh, as you can see it's really easy to create one and I think this is a I, in my opinion, this is really look 
Uh, this is really good looking. You can also create like little login and sign up buttons on the top or something. You can do whatever you want. You can instead of like writing the text, you can like um, I don't know, insert an image, or you can just uh, insert nothing. Just leave it blank here. You can basically do whatever you want. You can give it a position of fixed, which is when you scroll down, it's gonna stay in the same position on the top. So, in my opinion, this is really good. Uh, it's a modern um, navigation menu, and I really like it. So, if you guys like it as well, and you thought this tutorial was helpful, make sure to like it, and, um, and uh, also, so you don't miss my videos, subscribe. And if you have any questions, make sure to leave them in the comment section below. And also, um, let's say you want to see something from me, like let's say you want me to make a tutorial on how to create, um, I don't know, like let's say, I don't know, like I'm going to use this case of, um, you want me to make a um, different kind of, like your, a different kind of navigation menu. So you give me the details of what you kind of want, and I'll make a tutorial on how to do it. So if you ask me to do a tutorial on something, I will absolutely 100% do it in the following day, or at least I'll try to do it as soon as possible. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.